Hello everyone, it's Dawn. I'm back again. And today I'm going to be continuing with my Love From Lizzie August 2023 series. And we're going to be using these gorgeous frames, these gorgeous photo frames that came in the pack. And we're going to use all three of them together and we're going to make a mini album. So this is relatively quick and easy to do. So I'm going to show you how we do it, or at least how I do it. And then we'll see how it looks when it's finished. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with one frame. And what I've done, I've cut down three photographs of my husband, Graham, and me together. I have got his permission to use his photographs on video, so hopefully he won't sue me. So he's just said it, he won't, so that's wonderful. So we're going to use all three, one on each. So I'll show you what we do. What I did, this is, this is actually the latest photograph we've got together. Uh, or one of the latest ones anyway. And what I did, I cut it down. I printed the photograph out. Then I cut it down so that it's the same shape and the same size-ish of my photo frame. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it over, the frame over anyway, so that we've got it on the back. And for this project, I'm going to be using red runner tape throughout. You can use red liner tape if you want to. You can use glue. But for convenience and speed of assembly for the video, I am going to use tape. I might have used glue if I was doing this off camera, but of course glue takes a bit of time to dry. So for convenience of assembly for a video, I'm going to use red runner tape. So we'll just put a bit round there. And if you use the red runner tape rather than the other colours, they are permanent like the red liner tape and I'm going to turn this over do make sure you do this the right way around so we're going to turn it over turn the photograph over line it up so that it's like that so that the back is face step facing you and then what we're going to do is spin it over and we've got it face up now if like me where you've drawn when you draw around something it is quite often fractionally larger than the original. So all you need to do is this saves you messing about with having to measure and coping with fractional measurements and fractional inches and eighths of this and sixteenths of that. If you're anything like me, you're not much good at it. Although I'm sure there are some of you that are much better than I am. So if you do that and you have got something that's slightly over, just take a pair of sharp scissors and cut round it. Just done. Then you don't have any of that horrible measuring to mess about with. Well, it's not horrible, but some people just don't like fractional measurements. I certainly don't. So what we're going to do, as that one is the, the latest, I'm going to put that one on the top. And I've done the other two in exactly the same way. And the first photograph I'm going to show you is very embarrassing because it's me of a long time ago, before I lost weight. So I've got a horrible chubby face there. But my husband looks as handsome as ever. So there we go. And obviously, if this is going to be an album, we need a way to put it together. So we will need, you will need, oh there we go, I nearly panicked there, I thought I lost my hinges, or lost my marbles, <laughs> there's, a, there's a possibility of that too. So, thanks for the project, sorry about that guys. Oh, I must also apologise in advance, or a possible apology in advance. Next door, they're having some building work done, they're having a new bathroom fitted. So if every now and then you hear a bit of banging, that's where it's coming from. But we're going to carry on regardless, as they say. So anyway, back to the project. We will get back to it. You need four hinges and you need to measure them the same length as your photo frame. Now, I say it like this because if you haven't got this kit, you can make your own photo frame by using nesting square dies or nesting rectangular dies, however you want to do it. But so you measure it the same size on the same length anyway as your photo frame and then you cut it at half an inch and you fold it in half. I will add all of these measurements in the description below. I know I said that in the last video and I forgot for which I apologise but there were only two but I will add them in this time. I've written them down so I don't forget. I didn't write them down last time. So again for speed so that we don't have to wait for the thing to dry we are going to put a piece of runner tape and I know what you're thinking I've forgotten the cover well you're right I have but we're going to do that in a minute so I think what we'll do I had forgotten the cover actually well I've got it here but I think what we'll do first of all we'll get the photographs put on first then we'll make the cover 
so then it'll look like it was supposed to be like that in the first place. So we're going to put another one there and there should be four hinges and I can only find three but if I can't find the fourth one we won't worry about it, we'll manage. So just run your runner tape down like that and we're going to stick, oh which one, yeah that one, the next one on like that. Oh I think we'll be all right. If all else fails we can always stick the the back cover to the back of the photograph so that's no bother. So line it up and stick it on. In fact I think we might do that. So we'll stick it on like that and then we need another pin. Again we're going to stick it down or run it down the left hand side like that. And I think oh, this one's just about run out. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, well, I'll have to grab some glue. That's okay. No problem at all. So we'll just stick that down like that. And as my runner tape has run out, I don't think I've got another one. No, I haven't. That's all right. I'll just grab some glue. That's no problem at all. And I've got one more to put on the front. And I'm going to use this glue stick because it's quite a strong glue stick <laughs> and I can't believe it that's running out too. It shows how much crafting I do doesn't it? So if it comes out all thick and gloopy like that that means it's a thick a strong one. So that's all right we'll carry on I'll just pop that out of the way so I know not to use it and we'll put that there then what we're going to do we will put on the the cover. So if we put the cover if we put the back cover on first actually we don't actually need another hinge for that. Because what we can do, just make sure I've got them the right way around. This is a double sided paper and I'm going to use that for the front so or the front or the outside cover. So what we're going to do, so on the back of this photograph we are going to, and I think we're going to run out of glue again. Let's just see if we've got another glue stick. Oh we have, absolutely fantastic. We've always got something in my treasure chest right next to me, I've always got something. It's a different brand but it's just as good. So we're going to quickly get this together. If I'd have organised myself better, I'd have got another run of tape down, but that's all right. We'll manage. As usual, we'll wing it as we go along. So we're going to put that on the back and turn it over. And then what we're going to do, this one's nearly full, so this one won't run out on us this time. And we're going to run that down there to put the final hinge on, just like that. And if after you, you've done all these bits, you find little bits of the hinge sticking out the edge, don't worry about it. Wait till you've got the whole lot put together. And then what we'll do is we'll just chop them off. So yeah, that will stay. It really needs time to stick if you're going to use glue, but that's not very convenient when you're doing a video. So we're just going to get on with it anyway. So I'll just line that up as we go and we'll stick. I wonder what that was. Something went across the screen and I didn't quite know what it was. I don't know. We'll see. I think we've got ghosts. So here we go. We're going to hold that down. Sorry about that. <laughs> Something distracted me and went across the screen and I've no idea what it was. So I don't think it was anything horrible. But whatever it was, it's gone. So we're going to carry on. So there we go. There is our front cover. We do need a spine. And the spine measures, I think it's one and a half inches. Yes, it's one and a half inches across by the length of your album or the, end, the length of your, your pieces. Photo frame, that's the word I was after. Dear, dear me, a bit distracted this afternoon. And I've started gluing on the wrong side. Okay, that's, that's no problem. We'll just carry on. So we'll turn that over doesn't matter because it's only just as well I wasn't using runner tape because I wouldn't have been able to do anything about that but that will dry so I'm not at all bothered. This is the other side of this paper it's double sided. These papers in this pack this August 2023 pack are absolutely beautiful so put a good dollop of glue on and it will stay and the reason we use a spine cover is well there are two reasons actually one it hides the spine and two it keeps it all together. And so we have got a little bit of overhang. So I'll just grab a piece of, or a pair of scissors. We have got a little overhang just there. So just take your scissors and 
on the back. Don't do it on the front, on the back. Just take your scissors and trim. Angle it against your project and trim. It doesn't have to be perfect. Good is good enough, as we say on this channel. It doesn't have to be perfect. And as a final touch, in the pack, we get these lovely sentiments. And this one says, with love. And as it's a picture of a couple, in this case, my husband, Graham, and myself, I think with love is absolutely perfect. So, and it's got, they have the sticky tape on them. They have the foam tape on them already. So there we go. There is our album. Now let's, moment of truth guys, let's see if we can actually use it as an album. I'm just trying to get all this sticky stuff off my fingers. There we go. Let, moment of truth. Let's see if we can open it up. It might still be a bit sticky because it's got glue on it. So we'll have to be careful. What I might do later on when all this glue is dry is put a bit of glue on here as well. So when you open it up, there you've got your pictures. And you really ought to wait, you really should, if you're using glue, I would strongly advise you wait for it to dry before you flick through it. And there is your lovely mini album. So there we go, guys. There is a mini album made from photo frames. So I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. And I hope you have a go yourself, whether you're using this beautiful kit from the Love From Lizzie or whether you have a go at making your own frames from dies. If you've got square dies or you've got nesting rectangular dies, you could make these very easily. And over on the Blonde Cards and Crafts, the lovely Simone over there, she has done, Simone has done a different project with just one of these, one of these lovely frames, and she's made a shaker card. And it's absolutely fantastic. You must go and see it. So what I'll do, I will link her channel in the, description below and do go and have a look and see what Simone's done with this. It's very different to my project which is wonderful because it shows how versatile they are. So I will leave you with that one and when we come back tomorrow I'm going to be bringing back a technique that I haven't seen for a long long time. We're going to do some fairly simple tea bag folding. So do come back if you've not done tea bag folding before or not seen it do pop back and see how it's done because I'm going to keep it fairly simple. And if you're a returner to this wonderful craft, come back and have a refresher course if you like. So it'll be tea bag folding tomorrow. So for this, for today, I'm going to leave you with our album. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow. And in the meantime, do take care, everybody. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now. Oops. There. Bye bye for now. <laughs>